What's going on everyone? Welcome to part one of the three-part series showcasing Bay Area Bugs' three-piece set of California Howe Patrol vehicles. The first one is a 118 scaled Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Um, it's got the California Howe Patrol decals all around the vehicle and a custom unit number of 181 which is used by Bay Area Bugs in his videos. And if you're not aware of who Bay Area Bugs is, I'll link his channel down below. But pretty much he plays law enforcement related games and uses cars like this in his game as well as that unit number just to role play and stuff like that. So moving along with the video uh, we can start out with the side of the vehicle it's got a white painted door with a California Hot Patrol logo mounted right on top of it as well as a USA flag on the rear door and a safety service and security decal on the rear fender. Um, in addition to that we have a downward facing spotlight on the driver's side and passenger side as well which is non-working but it still gives that realistic effect of just laying down there and looking like a police vehicle and then this model also has black dog dish wheels with center chrome caps as well as clear corner markers which were originally painted in amber in the front we have a custom 3d printed push bar which was printed and designed by me as well as a custom 3D printed uh, siren box in the center with two angled LEDs right next to it. And behind the push bar we have a honeycomb grill and a custom license plate with the lettering 181 on it. And moving on to the rear of the vehicle, we have a custom decal setup with the Ohio Patrol logos on the top of the trunk and in the middle we have the custom license plate again. And on the interior we can see that there is a low profile interior mounted light bar which we'll get to in just a second. So moving on to underneath the vehicle uh, you'll see that there are four switches one is the white switch, which is a power switch to the emergency lights, and the button switch right next to it changes the patterns of all the emergency LEDs, and the slide switch right here turns on the headlights and taillights, and the one right next to it, um, that turns on all the emergency lights. So let's start out with this slide switch right here, which turns on the headlights and taillights. So as you can see in the front, we have the parking lamps turned on, which are the orange lights right next to the headlights, and obviously we have the headlights turned on as well. And moving towards the rear of the vehicle, we can see that the tail lights are turned on, and everything else is turned off for now. But as soon as you turn on the white switch, which turns on the emergency lights, you have the traffic advisor that turns on directing traffic to the left, this is just the amber and blue LED turned on right here. So all the lights in the front are shut off for now. But once you turn on the other slide switch that I previously showed you guys, that turns on all the emergency LEDs. So in the rear, it turns on this red LED right here. And in the front, we can go ahead and see that all the rest of the emergency LEDs are turned on as well. So the push bar lights are turned on. The center mounted windshield light is turned on as well as the side view mirrors. So this is just one pattern of the 12 that this vehicle comes with, but this is the responding pattern 
that is most realistic to the California Highway Patrol, and we can go ahead and check out the other realistic pattern, which is the park mode pattern. Alrighty guys, so here is the parking mode pattern of the emergency lights. So all the lights in the front are steady burning, just like an actual California Highway Patrol vehicle would behave when parked. So all the emergency lights are steady burning on the front and in the rear, however, they're still flashing in the wigwag pattern. All right, so that does it for this vehicle uh, in terms of all the various lighting that we're gonna look at. This vehicle does have 10 other lighting patterns, but we're not gonna go through all of them because they're not um, realistic to the California Highway Patrol standards. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and check out this model in the dark. Alrighty guys, so here's the model in the dark with the headlights, parking lamps, and taillights turned on. Um, as you can see, the lights aren't insanely bright, but they're uh, realistic bright, if you know what I mean. So here's the front view of the vehicle, nothing too crazy, and their rear view as well. Now let's go ahead and turn on the rear light bar. So we just have the amber and blue flashing with all the other emergency lights shut off. And we can go ahead and turn on the rest of the emergency lights. So this is the rear light bar flashing away. And in this side, we have a decent amount of lighting for just one emergency light set up on the side view mirror. And in the front, we've got the rest of the lights just steady burning. And here is the second realistic pattern, which has the front uh, emergency lights wigwagging instead of uh, when they were previously steady burning. So you have the push bar lights, the side view marker lights, as well as the front windshield lights wigwagging, with the exception of the uh, steady red LED right in the dash light. And moving to the rear, we still have the light bar wigwagging, just like an actual CHP vehicle would have. Alrighty guys, so that does it for part one of the three part series. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and make sure to check out the other two videos that I'm gonna be releasing, which are part two and three of this series. Um, they're also California Highway Patrol vehicles, which I think you guys will really enjoy if you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, but other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.